welcome to Pilates. Today we're going to draw. We're going to draw with our body and a lot of it's going to be the alphabet. So let's uh, start with a warm up. Get our head over our tailbone, our belly button to our spine, our ear, shoulder, hip in alignment. If you can't sit on your sit bones with your legs folded, feel free to take a leg out. We want to make sure you're on your sit bones, lifting yourself up to the ceiling. Inhale up, exhale ceiling and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down and exhale up and inhale down and exhale up and inhale over to one side. This is gonna be the uh, long arm. This is not the curl down. So this is pushing to the opposite wall. Make sure you keep your head over your tailbone. Don't let yourself sway back, lift up out of your position. Make sure you're exhaling and inhaling to get that big long stretch. Put your hand on your ear, guide your head gently across your body, keeping that shoulder down. This arm stays soft. Inhale and exhale to the rotation. Your shoulder is toward the screen or whatever you consider front. Looking ahead on the floor, get that rotation in there. Pull that belly button one more time. Go inhale, exhale, rotate. There you go. Breathe into it. We're going to take it into a spinal twist if you can. Put your hand on your thigh. Take your other hand. And you big inhale and exhale, turn. Big inhale and exhale, turn. Lift out of it. Big inhale and exhale, turn. Stay there and breathe for three, two, three. Three, inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back to center. Roll your shoulders back twice. Roll your shoulders forward twice. Switch legs again. If you can, if you need to take a leg out, make sure you're on your sit bones. Inhale up, exhale, ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale, and it's pushing to the wall on the other side. Your bicep is over your ear. Your face is facing forward. You're pulling up out of the hip, pushing down with your glute. So many uh, directions for one little move, right? Take your ear, take it across your body, make sure that shoulder's down, breathe into it. Don't let yourself fall back. It's so easy to just drift back, right? Inhale and exhale to the rotation. Looking ahead on the floor, make sure you're rotating really strong through those uh, obliques and through the hips. And then let's go to that spinal twist, hand on the thigh. Hand comes behind, big inhale and exhale. Big inhale and exhale, lift out of it. Big inhale and exhale, and lift out of it. Come on. A nice job. Inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back to center. Hands come together, interlace the fingers, push the palms out, drop your shoulder blades. You're gonna open up your back. Big inhale and exhale, pulling your belly button to the spine, scooping your abs up under your ribcage, and closing that ribcage to open the back up. Put your hands in front of your ears. Take your legs to a seated butterfly and hinge forward. You're reaching across the room. You're not curling down at this point. Keep your head framed between your arms. Don't push on the back of your neck. Don't drop your head down. Push, 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 push. You're exhaling. Now you can put your palms to the ceiling. Drop your elbows down and scoop up right through the middle and drop your shoulder blades and let your head rise to the ceiling. Take your legs hip width apart and windshield wiper them right and left. Nice. It's so funny. These socks match my mats. Um, unintentional. These are library socks for meals. Four and three and two. And I'll be taking them off soon. Okay, before we start our drawing, our alphabets, we're going to do a little bit of a warm-up. So get your head over your tailbone and let's start to descend to the mat, vertebrae by vertebrae, opening up every vertebrae as we come down. The head comes last, you lift your glutes up, take them down the mat, you wiggle your upper body up to get that nice long line in your vertebra, in your uh, core. Now, make sure you're not pushing your back into the floor, your belly button to the spine, abs up and under the rib cage. You wanna create an open back and you wanna create a long front. The first two warm ups, you don't need to curl up, but if you do curl up, make sure you're looking between your thighs, right? Your shoulder blades are off the floor. Your chin is parallel to your chest. Your hands are at your side. Point your toes. That's a default position. Step down and up. Good. Step down and up. There you go. Nice. Step down and up. So it didn't help. exhale. We try to always exhale back to neutral spine. So when we come back, we're pulling in deeper and we're creating longer muscles, right? Good. Keep going. We're going to do four more sets in this tempo. Three, I don't have any of my lights on. I hope I'm bright enough. There's sun coming in. And, and last one. Now you're in a double time, but make sure you stay at table dog. Don't 
past the crest of the hip or the crease of the hip. Keep going. Nice. Now you feel your hip warming up, right? Eight and seven and six. Last five, four more and three and two. Last one and get them back in tabletop. You could stay here for the hundreds or you can put it out into the Pilates 45. Try not to hit your dog. Put your hands at your side and pump for five inhales. Pump for five exhales until you reach 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, sixty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two. Three, four, seventy. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, eighty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ninety. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Hug your knees, lower your head, roll it side to side, and put your feet down. Great job. Our first drawing exercise is going to be down, around, and up. You can do this with your body all the way down on the mat. <clears throat> never lift to that where you're looking at the ceiling position. Ever, 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 right? Never, ever. All right. And um, you can also put one leg down if you need to. But really, we start at tabletop and we start in a curl up if you can. You take one leg up, point it nice and strong, hands at the side. You take it down for the inhale, around and up for the exhale. Down, around, and two. Inhale and exhale three. So the challenge here is to not rock your body around. Five, six, right? Seven, good job. Eight, perfect. Nine, pull it in. And again, you can be down here 10. Feels very different down. 10, ah, feel very different. Nine, you know where I feel it the most? In the groin. Eight, <clears throat> seven, good job. Six, Good, last five, like I'm gonna hit the bookshelf, four and three, nice job, two, perfect, and one. Now, out, around, and up, inhale to the side, bring it up, around, down, around, and up. Now, this is, keep going, or out, around, and up. This is the one where you feel like you're gonna drift over to the side, so you've gotta lock it down, around, and up. So make sure that you lock it down. Don't take the leg too far if you feel yourself drifting. Six, nice. Look through the thighs, don't look at the feet. Seven, eight, if you're curled up. <clears throat> Nine, good job. 10 more. 10, nine, eight, nice pointed leg. So that's where your strength comes from, is that pointed leg. And again, you can have the other leg down if you need to. It creates an imbalance, but we'll write it two and one. We'll make it right in the end uh, because we're doing both sides. Great job. Great job. So our next um, our next thing that we're going to draw before we go to the other side are these. So what we're going to do are scissors. Scissors right here in the center. Okay, we haven't done those in a long time. So take your legs to tabletop one at a time. Point them, curl yourself up if you can. Take one leg up and one leg down. We're not going to do the double pulse. We're just going to do scissors in single drift. So hands at the side. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. This is going to be really fast. Now, if you have to slow it down for yourself because you are experiencing too much uh, lack of form, if you're hitting lack of form or your legs are too long or you just can't move that fast, slow it down. But I'm going to keep it up because I want there to be a variety of things going on in the class today. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hug those knees. All right, we're going to take ourselves. We're going to do the other side. You probably don't have to turn around, but I do. To do the other side of down, around, and up. So curl down, open it up. If you need to shift in your room, and here we go, the other side curling up, take the leg up, nice strong point, 
down, around, and one. Down, around, and two. Down, around, and three. Four, don't forget, big inhale back, or exhale back. Five, six, inhale, exhale, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, keep lifting, nine, eight, seven, six, last five, and four, drawing that big circle. Three, nice. Two, perfect. And one, we're gonna take it out to the side. Side, around and one. Side, around and two. Keep yourself as steady as you can. Do you feel yourself jiggling a little bit? Three, really control your position. Get that point. Four, uh, leg nice and strong. Down, around and five. Side, around and six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Look between your legs, not at the ceiling. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Good job. Three, two, and one. And hug those knees. All right, take it out. And the next thing we're gonna do is an X. So it's actually the star, but in the theme that I am suggesting today, the, um, the image needs to be an X because we're doing drawing letters and shapes, letters and shapes. All right, so arms ahead, arms overhead and a Y. Feet are pointed strong, strong point. Feel kind of a pull right through that, um, midsection, right? So you're going to go from one leg to the other, and I'm going to take this much slower than we've done other things. You may use a little bit of help on one side if you need to. So you're going to inhale. It's going to be a, you're going to lift the leg and upper body at the same time and exhale, take it up to the leg and down. Then the other side, inhale, lift, exhale, up and down, inhale and exhale and Remember to curl down, right? So don't plop down. Inhale and exhale, curl that down. Inhale and exhale, curl that down. Inhale and exhale, curl that down. Good, keep going. We're uh, doing our X's. Nice. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, four more sets, four, keep going, three, you've got it, two, perfect, and one, and relax. Walk those feet to bent leg. Nice, you're doing great work, yay, you're having so much fun. Okay, let's get on to our sides. Straight down the mat. <clears throat> on your side, stack your hips, tuck them under. Now you reach your arm out of your shoulder, you bend your bicep to make sure you have um, a cushion and alignment, right? Arm up for this one. We're going to do an open leg and switch it. So it's going to be like a, a upside down Y. We're going to look like upside down Ys. So you're going to take the the bottom leg to the front and the front leg to the back. So open and one, open and two, three, four, good job, five, six, nice, seven, eight, nine, ten more, one, nice, keep it pointed, two, Three, four, five. Brewster is looking at it come toward his nose. Seven, it's coming to your nose. Eight, I'm watching it like a tennis game. Nine, and open here on 10, lower the legs. We're going to lift and lower for 20. One, two, three, four. Okay, turn around. Six, he doesn't want to look at it anymore. Seven, eight, 
nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Can you hold it up there for the count of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower down and stack. From here, we're gonna go to an L. We're gonna create an L shape. So you lift the legs off the floor, you keep them off the floor. One, exhale back. Two, now if this hurts your three, your back at all, I want you to bend your knees and do it at the bend. Four, five, six, seven, nice, eight, nine, 10 more, good job, 10. So if you need a mat under your hip, eight, nice, seven, six, last five, and four, and three, and two, and last one, hold it to the front, and we're gonna lift and lower for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend those knees, bring yourself around to your belly, and we're gonna go into a plank <clears throat> position and do some plank work, okay? If planks aren't comfortable for you, you can do some of this standing up. It won't be as effective, but here we are. We're in plank land. Okay, take a nice deep breath. And again. Beautiful. All right, bring yourself up to your plank. We're going to do uh, one side up, then the other side up, then one side down, the other side down. In other words, we're reaching forward then reaching forward, reaching back, and reaching back. These are eyes. These are different kinds of the letter I, right? Uh, you can do it on your shoulders or shoulders. You can do it on your elbows, or you can do it on your on your um, long arms, like I'm going to do. And I better take my socks off so I don't slide. So if you have socks on, you might take them off unless you have those grippy socks on. I'm taking off the ones that match my mats. So funny. Didn't even notice that until I got here. So I saw myself on the camera. All right, toes into the floor, hands are under your shoulders. It's so easy to be slightly forward, right? So look straight down, bring them under your shoulders. I'm slightly forward all the time. So take yourself into the plank, one arm up, then the other. One arm back and the other. Try not to wiggle. One, this is set two, we're doing 10 sets. Three, back and back. Four, back, make sure you put your hand down back under your shoulder. Five, nice, back and back. Six, nice, back and back. Seven, back and back. Eight, reach, back and back. Nine, back, forgot what I was doing. And 10, reach back and back. Kneel down, sit back into child pose. Take a nice big stretch. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then we're coming over to the other side, right? All the way down the mat. Great. All right, get yourself aligned. Bend your elbow. Belly button to spine, arms are up. Uh, top leg, top leg goes forward, bottom leg goes back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you're tucked under. Seven, try to keep that body still. Eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower them down. Make sure they're separated. Lift and lower. One, 
two. So usually three, keep going. We have the legs reversed, four. But I wanted that five, that stretch across the hip today. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and step. All right, go into the L. One, keep the legs off the floor. Two, three, you can steady yourself here. Four, five, exhale back. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, last five, and four, keep lifted, three, nice, and two, and one, lift and lower, one, two, if it's hard, bend your knees, three, you can do that way, four, but we're really trying to get five, a lot of work in here, six, seven, eight, try to keep them together, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees back, put your hands around, and we're going to tabletop to do a Z. A Z, yes, we're going to do a Z. So tabletop, right? We're in our a watchdog position. You're going to take your arms out, then you're going to Z them to the side. It's a diagonal. Two, three, keep that back leg high. Four, that's my... Um, issue five, and make sure that your arm is parallel with your shoulder. Six, everything needs to be lifted. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, straight down on under. Eight, seven, six, keep it lifted. Five, I'm talking to myself. Four, and three, and two, and one, and lower them down. Let's rotate our our hips in one direction for four, and then the other. Good. All right, I'm walking up a little bit. All right, take it out to the other side. Point that leg, lift it up. One, two, three. Is that other arm under the shoulder? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, keep going. Five, this is balance. Four, and three, and two. Last one, and bring them down. Nice, now you're gonna come on down with your chest and relax your shoulders. Good, from here, another. This is, I'm gonna pretend this is a okay. K. What else could it be? Anyway, <clears throat> you're gonna take one leg up, and you're gonna do a box push-up, for 20, down and one, down and two, three elbows go back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, push through, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, push, seven, Six, nice job. Five and four, all the way through. Three, good long leg. Two and one, and bring it down. Sit back into chow pose. We're going to go to the other side. Rotate your wrists if you need to, and then in the other direction. Nice. So bring it back up. The leg goes out and up. One, elbows go back. Hands on your shoulders. Three, look down, but not under. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, last five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and bring it back into child pose. Nice. We're going to give that upper body a break for a second, and we're going to do some Vs. 
So we're lying all the way down. We can have our heads down on this one. I'm gonna to go to diagonal so you can see everything. Lift your glutes, take them down the mat. Wiggle your body up the mat. Get your belly button to your spine. Take your legs to tabletop. Take them straight up. Make sure you have them up over your hips. Point those legs. We're gonna go out to the V and in. So VI, good. Four, three, four, the shoulder blades down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. So we're going to make a passe, a jazz passe, which is like a P. You're going to, that. You're going to bend that leg, take it out to one side together. You're trying to hook them together. Two, three, keep your upper body still. Four, nice. Now we're going to fill this more in the hip five. Keep them tight. Six, seven, eight. Don't let yourself roll. Nine, ten more. One, Two, three, good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good job, and 20. Stretch both legs up, take them to a turnout, bring them down into butterfly. Let's let them quiver a little bit, take them up and create the P on the other side. Out and in. And two, keep it in your hip line. Three, nice pointed feet, connect them together. Four, nice. Five, bring it back. Six, nice. Feeling that stretch in the oblique is great. Seven, eight, nine, good job. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Last five and four and three and two and one. Bring them back together and back into that recline butterfly lifted position. Take it down these together and feet apart. How about some ends? We're going to do some ends. Come on over to the side. Again, we're aligned. <clears throat> You might have to do this with staggered feet. You might be able to do it with, um, I'm going to show it to you on the elbow, then I'll start to you guys. So the end one is to bring your hip up. You're going to create an arc with your hip. Unlike plank, where we bring it up into a straight line. So you're going to sweep your arm up, and then you're going to take your hip way up and way down. All right? On your hand, it looks like this. Way up. You can put both hands down and way down, and then bring it down. Got it? Now you can do it with one hand if you want to. So whatever position you want, make sure your hand is under your shoulder. I caught myself again. 10 of these. So that was demo. Now again, you can uh, separate your legs or you can even go into a modified, right? So take it up and down. Two. Nice. Three. Let's let that right hand off the floor. Four. No, I'm not going to do that. Five. You've got it. Six. Seven, only 10, eight, push that hip up, nine, good job, and 10. Lower it down, take your legs forward. All right, flex those feet. Get your head over your tailbone, arms out. We're gonna do our double T's to one side, then the other. One, two, center, one, two, center. One, two, center. This is set two. Make sure you keep your head over your tailbone. This is where your neck will start to hurt. Four, this is set four, pull your belly in, four. And as you come in five, you wanna really suck it there. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, Nine, last set, 10. 
Good, and 10. Let's take that end to the other side. Let's roll our shoulders back for, for four. And then forward. Yes. All right, let's go over. Whatever magic you did to make this happen, whether you're on your elbows, whether you're modified, whether you're long-armed, keep doing it. All right, get your hand under your shoulder. Get those legs nice and long. You're going into a lifted plank. Take it one, two, hips up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and come on over and sit in. Thanks. All right. We're actually not doing anything face down. I just wanted to do a stretch. All right, now we're going to sit in the lean back. I warned you at the beginning to go grab your mat if you need it. For those of you who know the alphabet exercise, you're probably like, alphabet exercise? Yes, the alphabet exercise. So let me just say this. You can do this with your hands down. You could do it on your elbows, and you could do it lying down. So you don't have to be sitting on your tailbone. But basically what we do, Palmer method, I don't know what method you were taught handwriting in school. We're going to draw the capital letters with our legs together as we are in our incline. It's one of my favorite exercises. It's one of my class's least favorite. So bring your arms up to begin. Take it back one and two. Lift your legs off the floor. Point those feet. So it's A. Good. Capital letters. B. Good. C. D comes around, E, my favorite letter, F, I forgot how that goes, <laughs> G, I think I know my alphabet, D, H, so maybe I do I, J, K, good job, L, nice, M, N, O, E, now, in Palmer, it looks like a two. U, R, S, T, that looks like a boat. U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, and open and reach. Fabulous work, you guys. All right, let's take a nice stretch forward. Now, my next one. One of my favorites is the open leg rocker. That's an automatic V, right? So let's go to that. <clears throat> Good. So nice and sunny and pretty today. Now for the open leg rocker, this one doesn't work for you. Just bring your hands up and roll yourselves back into a round circle and bring it up, right? Open leg rocker, we go into a V. So let's prepare. The legs are up. <coughs> Running out of breath because I'm talking so much. Take one leg up and hold. And bring it back down. Take the other leg up and hold. And bring it back down. Take both legs up. I'm going to put my hands under my thighs today. And we're going to rock it back and bring it up for 10, 9, 8, nice big hold, 7, 6, Keep the arms down, shoulders down, five, four, good job, three, nice, two, and, and bring the feet to the floor, rock them side to side. Good, nice. So we are going over onto our belly. We're going to do V to W, okay? So bring it down. So V, do a kind of diagonal for you. V is straight up, all right? W, you bring it down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep V long, like this, straight down, belly button to spine, legs hip width apart, and W lift. V down, W lift. V down, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, 
Inhale. Exhale. Don't push your neck back. Right? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. inhale. Ten more. Ten. Pull that belly in. Don't push your belly into the floor. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. And hold it here for 20. 20. Pull it in. 19. 18. 17. I've got to hold on one side thing. 15. 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and lower down. X, open your legs, open your arms, face down. We're going to lift and lower opposite arms and legs. Lift and lift. Switching side. Pull leg off the floor, don't break at the knee, right? Lift and lift. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now. Put your hands hard into the floor. Make a big elbow. Put your feet into the floor. Keep them wide. We're going to do Chaturanga push-ups. Wide arms, wide legs. So we're Xing them. So remember how that goes. Inhale. Exhale. Push up. Inhale. Exhale. Push down. Don't push into your wrists. Make sure you're aligned. Inhale. Exhale. Push up. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Push up. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale, exhale, push up. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, push up. Inhale, exhale, five. Push up and six. Push up and seven. Push up and eight. Push up, keep going. And nine, if it hurts your shoulders, don't do it. Push up and put your knees down, 10. Walk your hands in the front and sit back. Into child pose, toes together, knees apart. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun. I'm kind of getting adrenal vibes on this one. Oh my God, it's almost time right here. Okay, we'll do the uh, the use. We're going to do the use. I know you want this to be like another hour long. I'm enjoying the modality of this one. All right, the use, we're gonna swing our legs from one side to the other. Take our glutes slightly off the floor if you don't wanna do the lift. Then you can um, just do it in this position, take it over and over, or you could take the lift and the lift. And two, nice, and three. So what's important here, keep going, four. Do you feel yourself lifting from the transverse abdominal? Five, there's going to be a little dynamic because we put a jump in it. Six, but try not to make it all that push. Seven, good job. Eight, and then hands, palms to the ceiling. Nine, so you don't push off the floor. And 10 more. 10, keep going. I'm sliding down on that. Nine, you've got it. Eight, seven, six, tight feet. Come on, tight legs. Five, and nice and long as you can get them. Four, you can help yourself by putting your hands behind your thigh. Three, make sure your head is flat. Two, nice, and one. Bring it down, knees together, feet apart. Take a nice deep breath right here. Oh my God, it's 10 after already. And breathe. So I want you to take one leg straight and the other one dropped into the center. So one knee is up and the other one's dropping into the center and the foot's on the side. And then do it to the other side. One knee drops into the center. If you weren't here for stretch yesterday, it was really cool. It's a good, it was a really fun workout. It's good any time of day. It won't wake you up, it won't wake you to sleep. It's kind of calming over again, one leg at a time. 
get those stretches in and one leg at a time. There we go. And put the knees together again and the feet apart. Now parallel them, drop them to one side and move yourself up. We're going to stretch in our straddle. That went so fast. I want to remind you that next week there's no class. It's next week, right? Uh, when I get my eye surgery, so I'll be fine when it's all over. Everybody's had it. All right, head over tailbone. Drop your shoulder blades. Make sure you're on your sit bones. And you don't have to be super wide, just as wide as you can go to get a stretch and not lose your form, right? So we're going to inhale up and exhale behind. Get a strong side bend. I want this to be a curl down because we're going to curl up out of those hips, right? Keep those feet in their nice long position. Get your head over your tailbone. Don't lose that, that alignment, right? I guess we should do the neck. So let's take the head across and breathe into it. Take the other hand, slide it along the leg. You're gonna reach out and come on over to the leg. So we get a hip, a hip stretch and a groin stretch and a lat stretch all here. Nice. Make sure you're aligned. And now you're going to rotate down and grab your chin or your calf or something to bring yourself down to that stretch. Now I'd like you to take those hands and push past your feet. Push past, push past. That's, that's an image. You may not be able to push past your feet, but just think of that as an image. Good. And then bring it back to the side. And then bring it back up. We have another side. Inhale up and exhale over to the other side. Again, it's a curl down. Get your head over your tailbone. Make sure your bicep is over your ear. Good. Make sure you're breathing. And then grab your ear. Take it across. I had so many more shapes I wanted to do, but I sure wanted to get that alphabet in. Slide those hands. And then over that side. Uh, Nice big stretch. Feel that all the way through. It's so yummy, yummy, yummy. Soft arm down here. If you can't remember soft arm, then put the arm in the center. That does the same thing, right? And then take that rotation and come on down. And then back to the side bend and bring it all the way up. Roll your shoulders back four times again. And then forward. I've got to do this a lot there. Now let's walk forward. It's a curl down. Good. So that you're allowing yourself to expand in the back. The hinge, you're using your hip as your prime mover. Now you're allowing yourself because you're rolling vertebrae by vertebrae to extend through the, the back. Not that the back doesn't get the stretch normally, but or on the other one, but this is more specific. Now put your hands under the floor and do long back. The shoulder blades don't crunch your head back. So you're looking ahead at Brewster, right? And then bend those elbows down and good. Perfect. Now walk it in. Nice. And bring those legs together and bounce them out. Brewster, bounce them out. No. More, honey. He's like, what? You had a walk at 4 30 this morning. Tabletop. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up like a cat. You want to do downward facing dog with us? Inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up like a cat. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Excuse me. You want to get on the cat? Curl up like a cat. You want me to help you up? Take a big downward facing dog. Push through your heel. Good job. Push one knee down, the other heel pushing into the floor. And then switch. And then push both heels into the floor, walk it in, and swing the elephant all the way up. There we go. Cool. Two times. All right. We're right here, we're softening our knees. We're doing washing machine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center, breathe up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, thank you for it. Everybody.